Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. Friends, uh, today uh, in this episode, I'll be uh, dealing with two very important terms of spiritualism, for which uh, many people are confused very much. The two terms are witness and consciousness. So I'll try to clarify on these two terms, what is witness and what is consciousness in spiritualism. And people keep talking about these two things, these two terms, and sometimes consciousness is mistaken for witness and witness is mistaken for consciousness. Also, I'll also talk about the six types of mind. There are six types of mind. These six categories of mind is something which I have experienced or realized, whatever term you want to use. But this is how I feel like the mind is mainly of six types. So I'll discuss about this, uh, these six types of mind also. Firstly, let's be very clear about what is witness and what is consciousness. Firstly, let's take the word consciousness. Consciousness is something, it is the state of mind which is conscious of something or other. It contains your thoughts, your feeling, your concepts, your everything, whatever is just going on all the time in your mind. And in consciousness, what is involved? In consciousness, there is the observer and thing which is observed. So this is this duality involved in consciousness. We are always conscious of something or other. Right now, I am conscious of the fact that I am speaking something. And you are also conscious of the fact that you are listening to me. And other time, you may be conscious of anything. So, in consciousness, one is conscious of something or other. So this is the state of mind, which is called consciousness. So consciousness is there in human beings, in animals, whoever, any entity, any object, which is conscious of something. This is what is known as consciousness. Now let's come to the witness. In witness, There is no duality of the one who is conscious and the thing for which one is conscious. There is no such duality. In witness, there is pure seeing. There is pure observation without the duality of the observer and the observed. There's no duality in that. There is no memory. There is no thought. Or we can say in other words, witness is a state without any structure. Any structure whatsoever. But it is 
pure energy it is the totality the whole the whole energy the total energy but without structure without duality without conflict it is total this is the state of witness it is also known as sakchi the state of sakchi and the state of witness or the state of sakchi has been elaborately explained in ashtavakra gita so this is the state of witness or sakchi now let's come to the seven types of mind if we consider the state of witness in which there is no duality of the observer and the observed or the analyzer and the analyzed or the doer or something which is done etc that state can be called the awakened mind the enlightened mind the mind which does not know anything whatsoever it can observe but it does not know it is the mind which receives but does not keep anything this kind of mind is a free mind the total freedom is there it is not some kind of objective experience or subjective experience no it is devoid of any subjectivity or any objectivity this is the totality although nothing can be communicated in words about the awakened mind or the witness but it it can be indicated somehow if we can one can only understand this this awakened mind by one's own realization there is no other way now after the awakened mind the mind which is attached it can be called the attached mind or the more accurate word will be the identified mind the mind which forgets its state which does not know any conflict which does not know any time any space so there is a forgetfulness of this state and it is replaced by the identification of this state to something so this kind of mind is is developed due to the ignorance the ignorance of its true state which is the awakened state so from awakened state the identified mind or ignorant mind develops and this identified or ignorant mind it breeds ego now we are going down and down when it breeds ego then it identifies itself as ego now it has forgotten its awakened state 
it is there but there is a forgetfulness now it has become ego ego mind now once it is established as the ego means a center now it knows the awakened mind knows itself located somewhere located in space and in time so ego mind this state of mind is called ego mind and then this ego mind breeds two other states either the ego mind like something or dislike something so we can call it the aversive mind or attached mind okay either there is aversion or attachment to something so from ego mind there is aversion mind aversive mind and there is attached mind and when there is an attachment or detachment of the ego mind to something or to somebody then there develops the state of fear fearfulness this may be called the fearful mind so we can categorize the whole structure of consciousness in these five states the first one is awakened mind awakened mind does not know anything of all these categories of minds of other categories of minds so that is not consciousness that is witness now five others the identified mind or ignorant mind then comes ego mind then aversive mind attached mind and fearful mind so all these five type of minds constitute the consciousness of a human being now it contains all kinds of other categorizations also but mainly these are the six types of mind the five types except awakened the other five types constitute the whole consciousness of a human being so in this way we can categorize the mind in these six categories that's all for this episode thank you friends